yo yo what is up so in this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and add our uh playstation controller support uh we'll go ahead and get our uh character moving with uh playstation controllers and um yeah let's just hop into it all right so the first thing we're gonna do uh i'm just gonna make sure uh you remember in the very very first video we made we added that plugin uh but just in case you didn't i'm gonna show you the plugin we need to add so go up to your uh edit Go down to plugins and we're going to type in raw and you want to check this uh windows raw input so when you check that it'll ask you to restart and then uh when you restart we're going to do some other things all right so once you're restarted we're going to hop into project settings we're going to scroll way down to uh, uh where is it at raw input right here and we're going to add device configurations we're going to uh, hit the plus key on that and then we're gonna open that up and we need to get the vendor id and the product id so where you can get this is if you open up your windows go to settings uh go to devices here go to uh devices and printers right here uh you need your controller plugged in to see it here uh but um go ahead and right click on your controller here and we're going to go to properties uh, and you can test and make sure you're using the right controller. Um, wrong one. Hold on. Go to uh, game controller settings. So if you have more than one uh, controller plugged in, you can go to game controller settings, go to properties, you know, hit some buttons, make sure you're, uh, that's the one you want to get the ID from. So yeah, just check on that. And then we're going to right click on your controller, go to properties. Um, go to hardware and then we're going to go down to a USB input device and then you're going to click on properties down here then we're going to go to details right here then we're going to look for hardware IDs right here so the number you want is this uh, where it says VID underscore 054C uh, we need that 054C number so just remember that number it's 054C and we're going to hop back into our project settings. But before you uh, put that number in, you want to put in 0x. And then you want to put that number in. So 0x054c. And then we want to get the uh, the product ID. So go back to that, uh, that menu here. And the product ID is this PID underscore 09cc. So remember that number. Then we're going to go over here. And we need to type in the 0 and the x again. So... 0x09 uh, oh whoops wrong one 0x09 cc just double check and make sure i got that right uh yep so that's what we need so the next thing we need to do is we need to go into the access properties here and we need to um we need to enable on uh if you're using ps4 controller you're gonna need the zero one two and three right here and if you're using um playstation 5 controller you're gonna need the two three four and five and uh what we're gonna do here on all of these is we're gonna check that it is gamepad stick so just check that on all of them like that and then what we need to do on all the rest of these is we need to disable all the rest of them so any of the any of the indexes that you're not using uh go ahead and disable them so that's what we're going to do here we're just going to open each one of them and disable them because it won't work with this enabled uh if these are enabled it's just gonna um basically fire them off constantly like they're like they're actually being pressed constantly so your inputs uh you'll just like run one way without pressing any buttons so that's that's why you want to disable all of these
There we go. Once you get them all disabled, you can just close this down. We don't need this anymore. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our inputs. So go to your third person, uh, inputs, actions, um, actually not actions, uh, IMC defaults right here. And we're going to go, we're going to start with our move right here. And we're going to add a plus. So we got a new uh, action that we can use. And we're going to click on the key right here. You're going to click that. Um, okay, hold on. Let me check something. Axis 3. So let me check. That shouldn't have automatically fired off. So let me check. Okay, so I figured out why I messed up there. Uh, the reason why I messed up is because in raw input here, I had the wrong letter typed in here. I accidentally typed C in there instead of X. So make sure you type that right. So, yeah. So now when you press on the keyboard, you can just press up on your stick. And then, uh, you know, you get your, your button. You can also just press buttons to assign it, you know, just by using the controller. But we're going to choose up on our left stick. And then we're going to add a modifier. And I think what we need is dead zone. And then we're going to add another modifier, which I believe what we need is swizzle. Let's check that. So we press play and we move forward and that goes backwards. All right. So what we need here is we're going to add another modifier called negate and that will just reverse it so now when you move forward you go forward if you pull back you go backwards and uh yep there we go so now we need to add our left and right controls so we're gonna add a uh, another button here and we can just get rid of that one and we're just gonna choose left on our left stick and then we're going to add a modifier, and I think uh, all we need is dead zone. Let me just check that. So we move left, it moves left, move right, moves right. And you can run in circles, it works properly. Alright, so now we need to add our, uh, our look functions. So we're going to go to our input action look, and we're going to add a button. And we are going to, let me minimize that one. Click on the keyboard here, and we're going to choose up on the right stick. And we're going to add a modifier, and I think what we need is dead zone and swizzle. I think that's all we need on this one. Uh, so we can hop in, move up, it goes that way, move down, it goes that way. Uh, this is typically how games do it, but if you want that to be reversed, all you got to do is add a negate. And it'll be the opposite opposite way. Uh, let me just click in there. Yeah, it'll it'll move like that. Uh, typically though, uh, it would it would not have that. So we're just gonna get rid of that. So now we just need to add our uh, left look and right. So we're just gonna add a button, and we're just gonna choose left on the right stick, and we're gonna add a modifier, uh, dead zone. I think that's all we need. So let me just check. Um, left, it goes that way. Right, it goes that way. And uh, yeah, now we can run around. We can control the camera with our controller. So now we're just going to go ahead and add our input for our... Um, for our... Jump button. So we're going to go up, to here, uh, up here to our jump. We're going to add a button. We're just going to click on this, and I'm just going to choose the X button. And that'll give us that. And now we can use our jump. Yep, it works. But if you rem remember, in the last video, we added a uh, another input action for our main menu back button. So we're just going to go here. We're going to add a button. And... We're going to click on this, and we're going to choose our circle button. That's going to be our back button. And uh, we can go test that out, I think. Let's go test it out. Let's go to our main menu and test out if that back button works. So we'll hop in, press play. Um, it'll automatically shoot off because of um, 
some other buttons that are enabled. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, disable some other buttons. But, for now, let's choose our information. Press our back button. And it works. Yep, it does work. Very nice. But yeah, the reason that uh, press any press any key button fired off right there is like what I said at the beginning of the video. If you go to your project settings and go to your raw input, uh, we can just close this one down. If you go to your button properties, there are like 95 buttons here. So we just got to go through all of these, figure out which buttons that, uh, you know, we actually need that are actually usable. Um, and, you know, disable the ones that we don't use. Once you do that, it won't... <clears throat> Once you do that, it won't just automatically fire off the press any key button. But there is going to be uh, something that we're going to have to do in the future. Because if you go to the access properties. Um, and the next part in the next video that I'm going to make. We're going to need. We're going to need to actually enable uh, this generic USB controller access 5. Uh, to get the D-pad working. Because if you hop into our IMC defaults. Let me just hop into it. Uh, input IMC default and I'll just click on the uh, jump button for now uh, right here if you choose your d-pad right now the d-pad does not work and that's because the d-pad uh, let me just set that back to X uh, that's because the d-pad if you look in our raw input is actually this um it's it's this axis right here and um yeah, we're, we're going to make a whole tutorial on this because getting the D-pad work uh, is, is a whole box of worms. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to make that its own video. And um, yeah, so we'll just call it here for now. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.